Jones got away with that. My goodness. It's almost a coat of paint, but it goes down as four. Well, he got out chopping back onto the stumps last night, and that one has nearly come back onto the stumps. Fine line this game, isn't it? This time it misses the stumps just and runs away for four, and that's his first scoring shot. Play a miss and then an under edge. Pakistan, Zindabad. <laughs> well done, Wilco. Oh, there. Oh, he's gone big, but where's he gone? Has he gone far enough? Oh, yes, it has. That is Cameron Atwell stating his intent. 15 for no wicket. Well, that's straight six. It's a typical Cameron Akmal shot. Yeah, clearing the front leg and going through with straighter hands over the uh, mid-off fielder. Big six. That surely did hurt him. Last ball, hit for a six. Another one, that's a beauty. He's so dangerous. Once he gets going, he's very hard to stop. Number six. We've seen this before. Come on, Akmal. He nails this. The sound of the bat resounded through the stadium. And once he gets a start, he normally just goes big. And he's such a massive six hitter that even in a 16 over game, he can really hurt you. Man in form, man Peshawar looking at. Yeah, they're just not perturbed, these sort of players. If they get a duck one day, they still play the same way the next. And you think of his first scoring shot, under edge, nearly hits the stumps again. He played on last night, gets away with a four, and then bangs one straight down the ground. All of a sudden, he's away. So most sixes in PSL 2018, he equals Watson now on 22. He's not the biggest man in the competition either. And that'll be four. It's just the wrong line here. Well, in terms of confidence, it's racing high for Cameron Akmal. He's the leading run scorer in HBL PSL 3. He scored the only century. He's doing really well with the bat for Zalmi. Another boundary string to leg. Wouldn't miss off on this. Frustration there for uh, Eastman Shinwaran. He's a local boy, Akmal. This is his ground. Feels at home here. Not quite yesterday, though. But he's away here. 21 from 8. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's getting worse here. And you think about this, you win the toss, you bowl first, and I think the advantage is gone now. Kamal Akmal hitting his straps. This one again down the leg side, went for that slow one, and he gets some sort of bat on it, and it's raced away. It's on to 43, and it's just 4.3. Vishawa Zalmi and Kamal Akmal really doing this well. Yeah, and the trouble here is I, I think uh, Achilles' heel of Karachi Kings for a little while has been their bowling. They're just not bowled well enough. So to be 27 of 1.3 overs, Sumari is not helping the cause. And that uh, is another one. I tell you what, he's such a dangerous hitter. So we've had 6, 4, 4, 4, 18 with two balls to go in this over. Look at the strike rate, just under 300. And what they're trying to do is to lock him down, take his arms away. But because he's in such good form, he's picking the length of the ball very early. That's why he can hit this in front of square. There's a lot of real estate there, picks up another boundary. That's when, you know, if there's any youngsters watching and they're worried about being tall enough, don't worry about height when you're back. Some of these dynamo packages, I'm telling you, that short of a good length is a genuine pull length for the short guys. We know it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, that's 8.28 in the power play. And it's the second worst in the PSL. So it hasn't been a good time to bowl for him. It's a beauty, it's low, it's hard, and it's gone all the way.
Here's a pocket rocket. Definitely comes up and Shenhua is not learning. He was hitting that shot of Lin to the boundary. This one has gone short. And come on up, performer's life slaps this. Flat six. You don't want to hurt short to come on up in this kind of form. Going on this pitch. Okay, so we've slowed it down. We've got some spin. Osama. It's not a good start. And this run rate is getting out of control here for the Kings. Come on up and you drop a little short to him. And he'll punish you for cut shot, his favorite. No chance for the build. Almost went the wrong direction, but it was short. And Kamar Akmal punishes it. So you've got Fletcher with those long levers. You've got Kamar Akmal who's bouncing on. And he goes again and he's got hold of it. You just knew from the moment. Just a little bit slicey, but he got enough of wood on that. And uh, he's got a ball to get this 50. He's on 48. Two balls, in fact, to be the quickest in this year's PSL. He commits himself to the shot from very early, Cameron Atwell. Wonderful use of the feet. He knows it's not turning. That's why he can hit through the line of the ball. Once he gets some button, and look at the flourish on his bat. Gets it to go all the way. Well, how do you stop him at the moment? I don't think you do. There it is, 50. He's uh, brought it up in 17 deliveries. It is the fastest in 2018, 2017 and 2016 in the PSL. And thank you for the entertainment. Take a bow. Come on, Akmal. 54 of 17 and he's actually smashing Karachi out of the tournament. He's been sublime, he's been superb, he's been powerful. He struck it everywhere and massive hits. And he's not yet done. Oh, this over's gone for 18. Osama has bowled a big full toss on leg start. That is pressure. It's also a wet ball as well. And then for the spinners, that makes it really... Peshawar 91 without a wicket down, Danish Aziz is on a left arm orthodox spinner, he goes for a mighty six. Welcome to the crease my friend. Oh dear, this is uh, slaughter of the lambs, it really is, it's just awful for Karachi at the moment. Aziz only 22 years of age, thrown in the deep end, especially with an inform come on Akmal. Taking no prisoners, anything short. We've been dispatched. He continues and first ball in HBL PSL history. And he's been harshly treated to say the least. He'll go again, Kamara Nakmal. He goes big and six more. 100 comes up in no time. And there's one figure on the scoreboard that won't be there, but I can tell you that Cameron Akmal, his strike rate is 300. And that's his seventh six. You want more of this, Darren? He's gonna go again. <laughs> well, I can tell you something. He is slowly sealing a place for his home city. They're not gonna accept uh, anything that uh, predicts, not yet. Big shot, six. He is in such great hitting form, it's incredible. This has been such a pleasure commentating on a great not T20 innings. A great T20 innings. Kamar and Akmal motoring along 77 of 26. 8 6, by the way, Darren. Some superb hitting here from Kamar and Akmal. He's done this throughout his entire innings. That's the beauty and skill we've seen from him. The class of Cameron Akmal. Yeah, what he's just done there, he's just equaled his brother Umar Akmal, Kevin Peterson and Shahjil Khan with his 8-6.
in this individual innings and uh, those three I mentioned also hold that record of eight as well ah, he's not finished yet just four dot balls for Akmal in this innings of 77 has gone up in the air this should be taken point is circling around that one and it's taken Mukhtar the fielder he's a new entrant to the playing 11 so Kamran Akmal's fantastic innings comes to a closure courtesy a good catch and so some respite for the Kings because that's one good way of lowering the strike rate and curtailing on the scoring rate yeah, it was a wide delivery. I think that is what got the better of Cameron Akmal. Wasn't in control, but it's a big wicket for the Kings. It will stem the run flow. 77 brilliance from Akmal. It's 120 for two.